Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm excited, y'all. What up now, crew? I'm excited because it's Saturday and I'm on my way to school on a Saturday. Uh, uh, uh. I'm excited because what the hell is on the floor? All these frogs. I'm excited because. I've never been to a class on Saturday, so I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect. I don't know. I don't know. I'm hoping that I can get it. It's a cop up here, so let me, um, hold on. I'm going to come back after I pass it. <laughs> can you get a ticket? <laughs> All right. Hold on, y'all. I'm right back. <laughs> hold on. I put the phone down, so she can't really see it. It's a woman cop, too. You know, women... Women cops are a little bit more strict, I feel, than uh, men cops. I put my phone down so she can't really see it. I passed her now, though. <laughs> Imagine that. I get a ticket for vlogging, for talking to my nail crew. Come on. Okay, she's gone. <laughs> All right, so what I was saying is I'm excited about going to class on Saturday because I don't know what to expect. I really don't. And I, what I want to do is just get in today. She said she'll be there from 10 to 2. So what I want to do is go and study for chapter 4. Because I didn't even crack the book open yet for chapter 4. So, yeah. I, yeah. So I want to study for chapter 4 a little bit. Which is a longer chapter. So I feel like I'm going to have to read that several times. Um, and then I want to practice my pink and whites. Like I was doing pink and whites on Monday or Tuesday and I left off on that so I just want to pick back up on my pink and white because pink and white is hard y'all I feel like doing an ombre nail with acrylic is easier than doing a pink and white because you got to make that smile line just perfect and then you got to bring the pink over but not too much over because if you bring the pink over too much you mess up the line and it's not as crisp now you got the pink and the white blended and it's more of a tint and it's not like a white white and some people want the pink and white distinguished like they want the pink pink and they want the white white so it's a little bit more hard like yo pink and white will not be my specialty y'all Mm. And right now we're doing the traditional white smile line and then pink. Once I get that down, then I will get to learn how to do the um, reverse, the reverse pink and white where you do the pink first and then the white. Does that make sense? Y'all know what I'm talking about? So traditional pink and white, you do the white first, create the smile line, put the pink in the back. The reverse is where you do the pink first, create a reverse my line and then put the white i'm gonna do it for y'all i'm gonna do it for y'all i'm gonna on a try it tuesday i will pull out my pink and white and i will do a pink and white for y'all and y'all will see right now i'm doing it on um paper just like with the little dots i graduated from the little dots <laughs> y'all so i graduated i forgot to tell y'all i graduated from them little dots so remember when i had to do the little dots on the paper like get the monomer and acrylic ratio right into them little holes and little dots well I graduated from that and now I'm still on paper but I'm doing pink and white thank god because I could not do another little dot like them dots was getting on my last nerve like come on I got it down like these little acrylic beads are staying in these little circles mm, teacher can I get another assignment so thank god she gave me another assignment y'all and it's pink and white and this is actually fun because it's something that I do not feel comfortable with 100%. So, with that being said, yeah, I want to get comfortable with it because you just never know. I might have a client that's willing to pay X amount of dollars for that pink and white baby. So, I want to be ready for her. But, like I said before, it is not going to be a specialty of mine. It's not going to be a specialty. I want to learn how to do it because I really want to learn how to do everything. Like, I, I'm just that girl. Like, I... I just, I'm just that person. Like, I just want to know everything about everything. And I know that's impossible, but that's just how I am. That's how my DNA is structured. And I'm sorry, okay? I'm just sorry. That's that's just who I am. So, I really want to learn how to do it and learn how to do it well. But is it something that I'm going to advertise? Like, yo, come to me for the illest pink and white. No. Mm -mm. 
<laughs> that thing takes so much time. Maybe I'm just slow because I'm new at it. And then once I get used to it, it's going to be like boom, boom, pow. I don't know. I'm hoping. But right now, yo, I don't know. I'm going to time myself. I'm going to do a pink and white today on the paper. I'm going to time myself and see how long it will take me to do five nails that I'm happy with. I'm going to do that. And then as I get more comfortable doing it, I'll time myself again and and just see how long it'll like just see if I'm progressing in time or if girl no, you just suck. You suck and this ain't your thing, so <clears throat> stick to ombres. Like I feel like ombres is easier. I'm, I'm gonna do a pink and white the way that I'm taught. So you guys are welcome to chime in and say, girl. Mm-mm. And then I'm going to do an ombre nail. And I'm going to show y'all <laughs> how much easier an ombre nail is compared to the pink and white. Because with ombre, it's just lay the white down, brush the pink over it, and blend. Pink and white, you got to make the crispest like, oh, all right, I'm done. Let me get off, let me, let me, let me stop. Let me stop, because I'm going to rile myself up. I didn't even get to school yet. I didn't even pull out my acrylic pack yet, and I'm already, like, anxious about this thing, so. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. <laughs> it's Saturday. Yo, I didn't even sleep well last night, and I'm still hype. I'm hype, y'all. I'll check in again after class. Otherwise, I'll be rambling all day. I'll be rambling all day. I need to get my hair done, too. This weave is starting to get all matted up in the back. Like, what the hell? It's, like, literally matted up in the back. Like, if I don't put rollers in it, that's it. Tangle City. Like, what in the hell? So, it's old, though. This is some old hair. <laughs> Y'all, I'm sorry. I just be telling y'all all my business. I be telling y'all all my business. But yes, this is some old recycled hair. I recycle my weave. You know why? Because this thing is hella expensive. That's why. Okay? 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 Goodbye. All right, now, crew. I'm at the school. It, oh, there go the teacher. I was just about to say the school is closed. But me, she just rolled up on me. So... It's 9.30. This teacher here a whole 30 minutes early. And guess who about to clock in a whole 30 minutes early too? This gal. What's up now, crap? <laughs> so I'm just leaving class. Oh my gosh. Today was a bomb. I loved it. Clocked in at 9.30. Clocked out at about 3.30. So I got at least six hours. Thank God. Because, yo... <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be in school for like a year trying to get these 240 hours. So thank God for today. I had so much fun. I learned so much. So I'm just going to give y'all a real quick recap because I don't want my video to be too long. All my vlogs are like 30 minutes. I'm going to try to just cut some shit out. Um, went in. I did an exchange of service with someone. So one of the esthetician girls needed a service and I needed a service. So she did my face. Do I look glowing? Am I glowing, y'all? <laughs> so she did my face and I did her manicure. So shout out to her. Thank you, doll. My son came in and I did a pedicure on him. So thanks, little bully Willie, for letting me do your toesies. So I did that. And then what did I do? Um, and then I got a pedicure done on me because another lady needed um, to do a service. So today was like, I got a facial and a pedicure, y'all. Hello. <laughs> what else did I do? Um, oh, how could I forget? I did the pink and white. So before I went to school, I told y'all that I was gonna do pink and whites on the little paper. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I jumped up, honey. I jumped up. I done graduated from pink and whites on paper. And I actually did it on the, the clothespin. <laughs> y'all. <laughs> no more papers for me, bitch. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. For my first try, uh, I feel good about it. 
I feel good. And I am my worst critic. But when I tell you I feel like I did a good job, trust and believe I did a good job. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's it. Right now I'm on the way to meet my son. He's at my grandma's house. We're going to go over there, spend time with Graham Graham for a little bit, go eat. And then I got a whole bunch of stuff to do today because it's Saturday. And I mean, my Saturdays are jam-packed. I had fun this week. This has been like one of the best weeks thus far in school. I mean, it's only week three and I have so many more weeks to go. Blah, blah, blah. I know. But I had a lot of fun this week and I learned a lot and I cannot wait to go meet my son, eat and go home. Because when I get home, I'm pulling out that acrylic set and I'm, I'm back on the pink and white. So yeah, I want to like really, really get that down. Like I feel good about it, but... I really want to just get it down. I want to get it in the bag. So I, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> All right, y'all, let me go. Let me go because I'll be up on here talking to y'all all day. Oh my gosh, guys. So I'm home. Here are the clothespins that we use today. They're not the traditional clothespins that you have but they're close to their fingers and they're round and they're soft and smooth. And I don't know, I just thought they were the neatest things ever. Like, I'm so excited to get these damn clothes fits. It's crazy. So this is the first one that I made right here. And I mean, it's kind of wide and the small line isn't perfect. But I mean, overall for my first freaking pink and white, I mean, it looks good. Look at the side, guys. Yes, boo. Yes. I'm going to save her. All right. So then let's see which one else do I want to show you guys. I don't remember which ones came second, third, fourth. Um, I'm going to put that one to the side and I'll explain to you why later. But all right. So let's look at this one. Look at that smile line. It is almost perfect. It's so smooth. I didn't file it. I didn't do any top filing or finish filing or anything like that. This is like raw, just acrylic. So I think I did a really, really good job. And I did this reverse pink and white. So I laid the pink down first, created the reverse smile line, and then I did the white after. And yeah, guys, uh, what do you think? What are you thinking? Uh, Oh my gosh. All right, so let's look at this one. This one isn't as perfect as the other one. So it might have been like maybe my second one. But oh my gosh, it still looks really, really good. I'm trying to focus for you guys. Look, oh my gosh, that still looks good. I don't care. I don't care. Somebody come on my comments and tell me that look like trash. I'm going to delete you. I'm going to delete you and I'm going to call your mother. And I'm going to tell your mother that you rude. And you need a whooping. I'm going to tell her to get the belt and whoop you for me because I can't get to you. Because you can't tell me that these don't look good. <laughs> Especially for my first attempt. I feel like they are awesome. Now this one, well, the small line looks pretty good. The nail is just a little bit wide. Maybe this is like a middle finger or something. But even from the side view and everything, I feel... I feel confident and good about my pink and whites. I'm still not a pink and white specialist. I'm still not going to be advertising like, yo, come to me for the bomb pink and whites. But I really feel like I did a good job, especially this one. I think this one is my favorite one. I really do. Oh, my gosh. And imagine if I was to, like, put some filing to her and some nail polish. Oh, boom. Okay, so this one is a little bit different because the pink is a custom blend that my teacher made. So it doesn't look as sheer as the other pinks. It's a little more opaque and you can't really see it. I'm trying to get it into frame for you guys. You can't really see it, but it's like a pink sparkly kind of deal. Whereas the other ones are more sheer. Now these are done with the Young Nails acrylic system because that's what we use in school. Um, and you already know the pink to me is not pink at all. So she kind of made this one and it looks pink in person, but on camera it's just not looking like anything so all right guys so this is what i worked on all day in school aside from getting like my little services done and i feel good about it i feel really really proud of myself like yo i'm about to cry <laughs> i feel so good 
So I think what I'm going to do is find somewhere to stash these. And I feel like by the end of my program, I'm going to have a million uh, little clothespins. I'm going to have like a million of them. So I have this cup that I got from the dollar store. I actually have three or four of them because they were so pretty and I had to have them. Um, so I'm just going to store them in this cup for now. And if I find something better, then I'll switch it over. I'm just so excited. I think I'm going to look at them every day like, hi, little clothespins. How are you? <laughs> hi, Beth and Sarah and Jen and Jane. <laughs> All right, so that's it for the clothespins, guys. Next, I want to organize my school supply bag. Like, do you see this hot mess? It is a hot mess. So I went to Walmart, and I ended up getting this cute little container. It is so cute, and it has little compartments so that I know everything will be separated and organized. So what I'm going to do right now is organize my supplies because I just don't like everything, like, being a big... Look at my files. Look at my files in a whole different bag. It's just, I don't know. But I like that I have compartments now and I'm just gonna try to separate everything and make everything nice and pretty. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is having two containers, one for my smaller things, which will be this clear container that you're looking at now. And then I'm gonna have another container for my larger items like my drill and the monomer and the acrylic. So I'll end up with two containers versus one stuffed container and I'd feel a lot better about it. Um, yeah, I don't know. These files are a little bit thick. They're a little thick and they're taking up too much room. So what I'm gonna do is keep these files at home because they're really good files. And I'm gonna swap them out with these Model 1 files because they're a lot thinner and I could put more things into this little compartment. So as long as it can close, I'm just going to keep on filling it up and filling it up until it cannot close. So periodically, I'm just going to stuff things in, test it to see if it can close and keep on going until I'm done. But so far, so far, I think this is good. So this little white brush is what I use to clean up around the edges when I do polish. So I think that's cool to have. Of course I have to have my makeup wedges for when I do poly gel, guys. Like, I really like to wipe my brush on the makeup wedges. I don't know why, it's just my thing. Now, I also have this glass dappin' dish that came with my kit, but I prefer to use this pink one because it's larger and it has a lid to it. So if anything happens and I have to like close it real quick, I'm good to go. Here's my nice, cute little fluffy brush. I think I got it from one of those little dollar stores. And then of course I'm gonna have to bring my little rhinestone picker up or dealy thingy. I love it, it is so stinking cute. All right, let's see if this thing can close. No. <laughs> so something's gotta go, something's gotta go. Uh, I'm gonna take out this little, I don't even know what this is. I'm taking that out, I'm taking that out, that gotta go. It came with my Young Nails kit, so I was just going to leave it in there just because I got it for school, but it can't fit, and goodbye. All right, so let's see. Can you close now? That looks better. All right, boom. I can fit more stuff in here. So I have to bring my prep and dehydrate. Like, duh. I use this for every set. You have to go in. I'm going to take out some of these nails. I'm going to take the nails out. Goodbye, nails. Because <laughs> you have to go and then I'm gonna put some rubber base gel in case I want to do some poly gel sets I need base gel so definitely need that and let's see if they can close boom great looking good yay I'm so excited all right next is this container which I'm gonna use for my big stuff so my monomer my acrylic and of course i gotta throw some poly gel in there y'all duh i'm gonna do these nail forms because i really like forms over tips so i'm gonna bring my forms i need a mask y'all because young nails oh my god this monomer is so 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 stinking strong and then i have my drill i'm gonna just put that to the side like that i'm just trying to organize everything in here all right so i still have room in here I still have room. I can put more stuff. <laughs> I'm going to put another poly gel because, hey, why not? What else? And then I'm going to put some builder gel. Y'all know I love some of Yogi, but here's some IBD. And then I also have this Cosella. So I think I'm going to stick with the Yogi because it's my favorite. So I bring the Yogi 
and what else do I want okay so just to be safe that I don't make a mess I'm going to put all my gels into this little plastic bag that way if it spills or anything like that it doesn't mess up my drill and it doesn't mess up my bag and I do not have to have a panic attack okay so <laughs> nice and neat all right, so now I need some of these drill bits and I have some brand new ones, but I also need to use one, this particular one, cause I do not have two of them. So I'm gonna bring that one, but I do have some new Arbor Bands to go on it. So I'll just bring a few, I don't need all of them. I think that should be enough. I could just always get more if I need it. So that will be there. And then I also have to use this. This is a safety uh, carbide drill bit. This is what I used to remove gel polishes and that one is not new either, but I have a couple other new ones. Look at these. Boom. So I'm going to bring these to school. Look at those. So cool. So the difference between those two is one is for the cuticle and the other one is to get under the nail. So now they can't fit in my cup, right? See, no, not going to work. So I have to take them out of the little containers just like that so that they can fit and be nice and neat. I'll just throw these in there. Boom. All right, guys. So that is that for this container. What do you think? What else do you think that I need? Leave me a comment below. Let me know what else I need to pack in my travel bag. And for now, that is that. Let's move on to my crystals. Oh, booyah. This, I saved the best part for last. I saved the best part for last. Now, this container is huge, and I'm never going to fill it up. So I ended up getting this smaller one. See how small it is? And it's more portable. It fits in my bag better. And yeah, like no one needs this huge thing. So the crystals that are in these little packages like this, See, those are going to be easy to transfer. Look, look at these cute ones. Oh my God, like, ah, I just love them. I love them. All right, so here is what the container looks like after all is said and done. And I transferred most of the bling into this container. Not all of it, because it was hard to get the bling out of the container. And like, I was like moving them one by one. And I was like, forget that forget it I will just leave those in there and just use them up but for now this is what I'm gonna have in my travel bag for school so in this large container I have some mixed ones you see I'll zoom in for you guys but then over here some really pretty darker colors I think that has like blues in there and some greens and some golds and some pinks like oh my god so pretty so so cute and I have some different colors over there and then I have some hearts and teardrops and oh, just so cute, so cute. So here is what it looks like in my bag. I have all three containers in my bag and they fit well. The diamonds are down below, like you can't really see it, but trust me, it's in there and it fits well. All right guys, that is it. Let me know what you guys think I need to add to my bag, but so far I think I have just about everything. All right, don't forget, you know what to do. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and or Snapchat. Like, comment, and subscribe. And then click on one of these videos so that you can keep the party rocking, baby. I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye.